Hello everyone, welcome to DataWiz tutorial. In today's video, we will see how we can measure and compare our actual values versus our forecasted values. So if I want to compare, suppose my sales values of forecasted versus actual sales. Here I have taken sample superstore data set and I have created a, a calculated field for forecasted sales. So this is a dummy field for forecasted sales and I have my actual sales here. And for I want to showcase uh, forecasted versus actual values for all the subcategories. So for that, uh, what I can do, I can create a visual of bullet graph or bullet chart. Uh, with that, I can depict forecasted versus actual sales values. Uh, so I, how I can do it, let's see. Uh, first drag uh, subcategory that is dimension field into columns and uh, drag uh, your uh, measure field that is the actual sales values into rows and I want to make it a horizontal bar graph so I will switch uh, rows and columns so my subcategories will be in rows and my measure values will be in columns so this is a horizontal bar graph a simple horizontal bar graph I have created with the help of subcategory and uh, some of sales of the, all the subcategories uh, now what I will do, I will uh, drag my forecasted uh, measure field into detail. Now I want to showcase my forecasted sales also here. So for that what I can do, I will go to analytics tab and I will click on reference line here. So uh, in this reference line, I will click on scope as per cell. So in uh, per cell, I will have my forecasted values. And uh, here value I want is a forecasted sales. So I will click on forecasted sales here. And I want the sum of it. So I will click on sum. Labels I don't want. So I will click on none here. And if I, if I want the value on the labels, I can click on value here. Click on OK. So here what I will get my uh, sum of forecasted sales. And uh, this bar is showing me sum of sales. So here uh, with, the, uh, uh, with simply visualizing it, actual sales is surpassing my forecasted sales or not so here i can see in a uh, no uh, subcategory my actual sales are surpassing the forecasted sales but i do have some of the sum categories where my actual and forecasted sales are near to each other and similarly i have some fields where my forecasted and actual sales are very far to each other so with the help of this bullet graph i can easily see uh, how my values are comparing for actual versus forecasted values uh, so now if i want to see the averages as well like 60 percent or 80 percent of uh, forecasted values i will go to distribution band and i will click on parcel again here and uh, the value currently it is uh, choosing of 60 and 80 percent if i want 40 percent also i will write 40 also here and I want to see the percentages only if I want to see any other measure percentile quantile or standard deviation I can choose that here I want the percent of forecasted sales I will click on forecasted sales here and uh, here I want the average only so I will click on average here uh, then I want uh, don't want the label so I will click on none for label and uh, I will click on fill below if I will click on fill above, then uh, uh, the whole area also will be filled. But I want to fill below only. So I will let it be till fill below only. And I will, uh, I can choose any other color also for filling. So from here, I can choose any other color also to fill my area. Uh, then I will click on OK. Line, I don't want the lines. So I, uh, I will let it be none. If I want the line, I can click on line also, then line will also be visible. Otherwise, I will click on none here. Then I will click on OK. And uh, let's decrease the size little bit of these bars so that my averages are uh, visible more easily. So here I can easily see my uh, average forecasted values. This is 60% uh, average forecasted values. Similarly, this is 80% of uh, forecasted values This and this is 40%. So the, uh, this uh, division is there for uh, for each subcategory. With the help of this, I can easily depict, I can easily compare my actual versus forecasted values. If I want to uh, 
make it uh, easily with the help of show me tab i can do that also for that what i will do i will select my dimension value here that is sub category then i will select my sales and forecasted sales so i will uh, select two measure values and one dimension value and now i will click on show me tab and i will click on bullet graph here uh, so with this uh, i will easily get my visual of uh, forecasted versus actual values my uh, actual bars are showing me forecasted values and my lines are showing me actual sum of values uh, so with this i can easily create this bullet graph uh, through show me tab easily without uh, doing anything else so either if it, if i am getting my purpose uh, fulfilled with the help of the show me tab i can do, the, uh, do just that or if i want to create it manually then we can create it manually also and we can do all the changes that we want to do so i have shown you both the ways i you can use the either one now if you have any queries regarding this you can simply ask in the comment section and uh, we'll meet you next time till then take care and happy learning